all right what's up everyone welcome back to another episode of cooking with a god all right so today it's going to be a little bit different than what i normally do so today i'm actually going to show you how i make content for the week so there's multiple facets to this i'm going to create a photo uh, for each meal i make today so breakfast lunch dinner and a snack in between but also what i'm doing is creating content for other companies as well too but typically if i was doing something like this for myself i would create content i would create this content and have it set for a month so if i was doing meals for breakfast lunch dinner and a snack in between that's for post and i typically try to post one food post per week now what happens then is that that gives me food content for those four weeks that i have at my disposal not that i'm going to always use it right then and there or week after week but i have it so in the meantime i'm creating other things or i can do other things in between then so if i have to create something for like kodiak or something like this or i have to post something for a different company that i'm like you know creating content for then i can do that in between then and if i need something specific for my page i can do that too whereas i already have those four photos already saved up but for today's purposes i'm creating two photos for a company that's going to use that so that's going to be paid advertisement for that and then i'm creating one photo for kodiak and then i'm creating one for myself for my page this week so i'm doing a lot today just for one post for myself but that's totally okay because i'm doing content for other people as well too so that's something that i'm looking to kind of like dive more into as i start to progress because i love food i love making food photos and i love doing things to make it look i love creating food and making it look extremely appealing to the eye so we eat with our eyes first and that's something that i'm trying to dive in today so what i'm going to do first is go ahead and make my pancake sack for the breakfast right so i'm going to go ahead and do that and all this is going to fit in my macros for the day as well so therefore i'm can eat what i'm making as opposed to just wasting food so i'm gonna make a pancake sack that i normally do something super simple just a buttermilk pancake sack uh, maybe with uh, a slice of butter on top and a little bit of sugar-free syrup i might do that and just take some really dope photos for that then from there i'm probably going to do lunch so this is going to be more of a high protein um a low carb diet high protein low carb it's going to be more of a high protein low carb meal and then from there we're going to do my content for kodiak and i'm going to try to do like pumpkin biscuits <laughs> so i'm going to try to do the pumpkin flax biscuits with our pumpkin flax uh pancake mix then from there i'll make dinner for myself personally and also for my page so i'm trying to make like a steak bowl and make it look really colorful and things like that for that one plate just to make it really pop but enough of that let's just go ahead and just kind of dive right into it and see how all of this turns out All right, so it is now later in the day. I've already made breakfast. Lunch was uh, the meal I did with the shrimp. So now I'm going to make my content for Kodiak cakes, which is my pumpkin biscuits. <laughs> so we're gonna see how this turns out. I'm not really not sure how it will, but I'm gonna really work to see how I can make these look appealing and actually taste good. So I, I feel like it's gonna taste good regardless, but I want them to make I wanna I want them to actually look like biscuits but taste like well pumpkin biscuits. Anyway, 
So what I'm going to do is record most of my stuff with my iPhone for Kodiak. That's usually how I send my videos in uh, to them and then they'll use that and put it on their story. And what I'm going to do now is just kind of like show you clips of me doing that and making the stuff and that's really it. And then after that I'll have dinner. So right now I've already got two uh, posts that I could use for content that I've already made today and then I'm going to make another one now and I'm going to make dinner later. Basically, it's just plate presentation. It's not, I'm not doing anything special to the food. I'm just presenting it in a manner that makes it look better than the average. And this will conclude today's video on how I make food content for my Instagram. Just a little bit different, but hope you guys liked it and I catch you next time.